Over the last several years, we've had hundreds of visitors from around the world tour our schools. To learn from the innovative curriculum that you've created and put into practice. We are grateful to our school leaders and staff for opening their doors for others to draw inspiration to help their own educators get unstuck from obsolete practices that are no longer preparing our students for the modern world. In the United States, an estimated 44 million Americans collectively hold more than 1.5 trillion in student loan debt. Less than 50 percent of students that start college actually end with a diploma. Concurrently, the U.S. Department of Labor reports that 6.5 million jobs remain unfilled because of a skills and labor gap. K-12 education is a zero-sum game. Standards and expectations for school districts have increased for decades without adjusting the core curricular frameworks. The best and unfortunate analogy is adding chairs to the deck of the Titanic. We need a modern curriculum that reflects the demands of industry. Rather than lay expectations on an outdated model, we need to create a new plan. A plan that's consistent with globalization, modern technologies, and aligned to the current and future world of work. This hasn't been done since 1892, when the Committee of Ten constructed the current model of education that we're still using today. So how do we update a system that was designed in 1892? What would it look like if our K-12 systems were designed with the end in mind? The well-being of our students. Research-based practices. Student voice. Modern skills and competencies as outcomes. This is our call to action for you. The Committee of Ten is long gone. So we're convening a new committee, the Committee of 100. We're asking for 100 of our Cajon Valley educators to answer the call. To help us finish the work that we've started. In designing our modern K-12 system to deliver on our vision of happy kids in healthy relationships on a path to gainful employment. We hope to see you at the first convening of the Committee of 100.